My name is Andreas Deleske and uh, we, I'm a member of a group, a private group, who built this house together. Um, this is a passive house, that means it uh, uses only 1.5 liters of oil per square meter and year for the heating. Uh, there was, at the beginning there was an architect and a biologist uh, living in nearby offices and the architect said, um, I would like to do a passive house one time and the biologist said, uh, I would like to realize an uh, alternative sanitary concept and so they did. Uh, then they found uh, people, friends of them, who were also interested and involved in energy topics. And so the group grew and grew. And uh, at the end we were 16 members who decided to build this uh, multi-family house in 1997. So this is a normal uh, house of um, co-owners. Um, and uh, a normal house also, as far as the prices are concerned, uh, the Fraunhofer Institute of Solar Energy calculated the overall costs of the building and they found the building costs being only 7% higher than the conventional, um, conventional new build house. I would say personally that the house has a higher value than the price, um, than the price is. Uh, first of all because we pay uh, very very low for energy. For example this flat has 90 square meters of heated area and we, we spent in 2004 uh, 114 euros uh, for all uh, heat energy. This means heating and hot water. So you can imagine that uh, often people pay 10 times more. Um, well, the, the building in groups or in associations has a, a big advantage that you avoid the costs of a firm who has to do advertisement and to take the risk. Every single material and element has been checked before. A passive house is not a completely new thing. Mm -hmm. It's just the combination of known techniques um, and putting together it. Uh, this is a passive house. <laughs> and we could. Uh, use these facts and these ideas and the books and this can be done by every architect. So we think um, if you have the courage to do it, uh, the information is available. Um, in our passive house we have um, uh, realized the five important elements which is the orientation to the south. The southern facade must have an uh, opening of 70 percent towards the sun. Uh, we have a thermal isolation uh, which is uh, 35 to 40 centimeters thickness of mineral wool. This is the second element. The third are the windows with triple glazing and heat reflecting surfaces. So the, the idea is that the visible light comes inside, comes through the windows and then gets converted into heat. And heat is nothing uh, different than uh, infrared radiation. And for the infrared radiation, the windows are like mirrors, so it remains inside. So, well, we have not an energy trap here, but it's a sort of a light trap which heats the house. The fourth element is the, um, the air exchange system um, with two ventilators and a an heat exchanger. And the fifth element can be said as being the internal gains, so when you do cooking, you have also an energy investment inside the house or showering or um, even all electrical appliances end up as heat which contributes uh, fairly to the heating. But uh, besides that, uh, this, these are the elements of a passive house. We realized three more things which are not, necessary, uh, not necessarily part of a passive house which is we have a solar thermal collector of uh, 46 uh, square meters which generates 60 percent of the heat for hot water over year, only for hot water, which in Europe is a quite um, conventional dimension, conventional calculation. Then we have a small electrical a PV power plant uh, with 3 uh, watt maximum load which uh, creates, which generates only 10% of the needs of the house and uh, most important of all we have a cogeneration plant operated with natural gas um, which generates 60% of the electricity of the house and if you can say so 100% uh, of the heating of the house. Internal gains. For example when you do cooking it's also an energy investment inside the house. When taking a shower it's an energy investment. 
all electrical appliances end up uh, as heat and even we humans do radiate 100 watt per person. This contributes uh, so strongly to the heating of the house that uh, the house would have an energy consumption of 30 kilowatt hours per square meter in a year if it would be empty. So more than double the energy would be needed for an empty house. Uh, well, besides the passive house concept, we realized an alternative sanitary concept. Mm -hmm. That means uh, every flat, so these are 20 flats, every flat has uh, vacuum toilets, as you might know them from airplanes, ships or uh, small uh, uh, fast trains. And um, uh, this we did only because we wanted to couple the, we wanted to, to use very low um, amounts of water with the toilet to save water with the toilet flushing. And we combined the vacuum toilets with the biogas plant locally here. The sound is not much noisier, not much bigger than a normal toilet. The reason why we did the biogas plant combined with our vacuum toilets is not the energy, although the energy uh, outcome is positive. Um, uh, you might know that in our so-called Western civilization, civilization uh, we need artificial fertilizer as for example phosphorus, phosphate, uh, because uh, the phosphate gets um, mm, goes into the used water, into the um, wastewater. Then we have big wastewater treatment plants uh, and uh, to pull out the phosphate because it creates other problems. And after that the phosphate cannot be used again because the, the residue of the um, uh, wastewater treatment plants must be dumped. This is our biogas reactor which is below the ground. It uh, consists just of a concrete container of 6 cubic meter content, not yet functioning, but it will process all the so-called black water, all the toilet waste of the house. After we gained the biogas, it's stored in two more storage tanks and then farmers will come and uh, put the processed bio waste uh, back on the fields. So the food circle is closed. And so this means our uh, system of our so-called end of pipe system um, has now an age of 100 years and we have maybe less than 100 years to change it again to close the cycle of the food. And this was the idea. And I think most of the people in Europe and also in uh, America um, know, and Canada for sure, um, know that there is an energy problem um, but and we have to solve it uh, but we also know that there is the sun uh, to solve it um, but very few people uh, know that behind the energy problem there is a much bigger even bigger problem uh, which is uh, just that the uh, resources are not infinite and we have to, to close all these cycles Now this is the pipe where the used air goes out to the outside and this is the exhaust gas of the cogeneration plant. It's only 30 degrees hot or warm. Then we have a small uh, solar photovoltaic installation which gives us maximum 3.1 kilowatt and generates 10% of the electricity needed in the house. So uh, we had to do a green roof because only 10% of the rainwater uh, goes down the rain pipe. <laughs> 